Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So, in today's video, I did a full face, full face using e.l.f. products. Me and Maisie were at Target, and I was, we were in the e.l.f. section, and I couldn't help myself but to buy a lot of e.l.f. So, I got enough to do a full face. With all of that being said, if you would like to see what is good and what is not, or what is in between... Then just keep your face now, and so let's get into it. I'm first using primer, and this I'm super duper excited about because I've been wanting to try this out for a really long time. I've heard great things about the green one, so that's why I decided to pick this one up. So this is the Elf Blemish Control Face Primer, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna squirt it on my face. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel or my Instagram, you guys probably know that. Oh, it's not green. <laughs> you guys probably know that I have the Illuminating Face Primer by e.l.f. And I do not like it whatsoever. So I'm really hoping that I like this one. Right off the bat, pretty hydrating. It's kind of between a moisturizer and a gel moisturizer. That's kind of how I would describe the feeling. So it doesn't seem super pore filling, but it is a little bit... Okay, maybe not that sticky, but I feel like it's a nice base. And then I go to eyebrows, so I picked up the e.l.f. brow pencil, and there's only three shades, so I picked up a neutral brown, which I'm hoping is my shade. It's really hard to find my brow shade. It's kind of weird, because my hair color is like an odd color, so it's always hard to find brow products. It was only $2, and it has a spoolie on the end. Okay, it seems pretty nice. It's pretty nice quality, if I'm being honest. The little pencil part is like... I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a, it's kind of thick, to be honest. Like, it's it's pointy at first, but then it's kind of thick. But we'll just see how it works. The spoolie isn't the greatest, but I mean, it is a spoolie, so like. I don't know how I feel about this. It's not the Okay, it's not bad, but it's not great. I don't know. I, I need to fill in my eyebrows and then I'll tell you my opinion. Okay, so it wasn't the easiest to apply, but it's really not bad of a shade for my eyebrows, which is really surprising. But it was hard to like get the tail to, you know, be precise. But I think I'll just clean it up with a little bit of concealer. I didn't pick up an eyeshadow primer, but I don't really use it anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the HD Lifting Concealer in the shade Fair. I believe it's the lightest shade. I mean, it was the lightest shade at Target. I kind of have high hopes for this. I'm not expecting it to be really full coverage, but I'm not expecting it to be terrible. Oh my gosh. It is way smaller than I expected. Like, but it's just a normal like Dofa applicator. I don't I feel like it might be a little dark. Like what? I don't know what. Okay, so on my face it may be a little dark, but for as an eyeshadow primer, it's really not bad. It was really easy to blend out and um it has decent coverage. But now I'm just going to set my eyelids with the, where did I go? With the e.l.f. face powder. Because I didn't get an eyeshadow palette, sadly. Just I, didn't, I just can't see myself ever using it anyways. So I just felt like it was kind of a waste of money. Also, if you're wondering, this little powder is my sister's. So that's why you've never seen me use it before. Alrighty, um, you'll see this later. But I'll explain it more later. But I'm just going to take this shade in the blush and bronzer duo and just add it as a transition shade just to give it a little something before we do the shimmer i'm also putting some on my lower lash line then i'm going to use the elf smudge pot which is actually my mom's but it's the only other eyeshadow product that i found um it might be a little bit dried out i don't know but we'll have to see i'm just going to use this little brush i feel like it'd be better to use my finger but maybe not Oh yeah, it's definitely like dried out. Okay, I know this is actually pretty good when it's new, but since it's kind of old, I don't know how well I'll be able to use it because I can't even stick my nail in it. Because it's like... <laughs> I'm now going to try this brush to see if it works a little better. Okay, that one actually works a little bit better, but it's still kind of chunky. So I would just say, don't have it too long use it while you have it okay so i brought i bought two pairs of lashes and they were only two dollars a piece which is a really good deal the only thing that i do kind of see with them is that the lash band is pretty thick but i think we can make this work i am gonna have to trim them though because they are a bit long it looks like 
but um, the ones I'm going to use today are the winged and bold ones, which are the more intense ones out of the two, so like this one. But there were only like two styles at Target. Oh, and I forgot to mention another cool thing is, is they have these pair of like lash tweezers in every pair that you get, so like that's pretty nifty. Okay, I trimmed them that I trimmed them down and I'm just gonna stick them on. I think they actually might still be a little bit long, but it's okay. These tweezers are actually pretty nice. Oh gosh. So these lashes were a little bit hard to apply just because the lash band is so big, but I think if you were to use eyeliner, it'd be better. Um, another thing is, is that they are a tiny bit uncomfortable, but they're really not bad, especially for $2 and coming with a pair of tweezers. Like if you were to get these a lot, you'd have a lot of these. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to apply the e.l.f volumizing mascara i've never tried this out and i think it was like two dollars so that was a pretty good deal it's in the shade black okay so this is what the mascara looks like it's a really simple black tube very sleek you're not going to be able to see the complete full effect but on my lashes because I'm just blending it and putting on my lower lashes but the wand looks like this okay it looks good on my bottom lashes I can't tell what it did on my top it looks like it's just gonna be really natural mascara I'm going back in with the elf concealer and actually use it as concealer this time it's like really dark to be fair what the heck um that's not the same color why is this so dark So far, not a super big fan of the concealer. Oh, also I'm kind of using it as a foundation since I didn't get a foundation. I don't know if I already said that, but. Okay, I'm not using the Yesterday. e.l.f. powder. Yesterday? Oh. Okay, then I'm going in with the blush and bronzer duo by e.l.f. in St. Lucia. And I'm going to use the bronzer side. This is what I used for my eyes. I actually really like this bronzer. Then I'm using the e.l.f. baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. This I've actually heard a lot about and good if you like scrape the first layer off so i may have to do that but i'll have to see what it looks like before i do that this was four dollars okay so there's really not much that comes off the first layer so i think i will scrape a little bit off because like it's not that much okay so this is what happened when i scraped the first layer off so hopefully it'll be nice Ooh. it's actually white yeah it's actually pretty nice I'm also putting it in my inner corner and brow bone. Oh okay, so the next and very last thing I have to do is the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Radiant Tint Lip Gel. And so I guess it's like a lip tint it's supposed in, to be do it nude. in gel form. And it's in the shade <laughs> Dewy Nude. In the packaging, it looks like it's kind of like really dark, but I guess it'll get lighter. It also looks small too. It's clickbait. Okay, so I swatched on my hand and it looks really pretty, so I'm excited. Kind of looks like blood, just like Maisie said. I can't really tell if I like it or not. I okay, so I actually really like this. Um, it just looks like I ate like a popsicle or something and it just happened to get all over my lips. But it tastes really good also, so I think I would recommend this. Okay, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll go ahead and give you a little total of what I liked and what I didn't like. The e.l.f. highlighter. Um, I wasn't as good as I expected it to be. I thought it would be better, but it was $4, so it's pretty good. The e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo. I like the bronzer, but not as much the blush because it's really light and glittery. The e.l.f. lip tint I really liked, actually. There are other shades, too, if you want to try other shades. But it doesn't really feel like you're wearing anything, and I feel like it wouldn't come off easily. Then the e.l.f. little smudge pot. This would be good if it wasn't dried out, so. And then the e.l.f. concealer. I think they should make lighter shades because... And darker shades, too, because the shade range is really bad. But this is pretty decent. It's not my fave. Also, it's way smaller than I thought it'd be. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see that it's... There's not that much product in it, but... It was like $2. Then the e.l.f. mascara, I can't really give a full review on yet because it's 
I only use it on my bottom lashes pretty much. You might see it in other videos. Then uh, the e.l.f. Blem blemish control primer. It didn't really smooth slash fill in my pores. It just kind of sits there, but I think I like it. It's better than the illuminating one. Then the e.l.f. powder. It's a powder. I mean, it's not the greatest, but I think it's like $2. Oh, so I can't really say much about that. Oh my gosh, I forgot to use something. Oh well. The e.l.f. brow pencil. It's pretty decent there's only three shades so that might be a problem also it wasn't the easiest to apply the lashes i actually pretty much like the lash band is a little thick but i think if you use eyeliner they'll look better they're a tad bit uncomfortable but they're really not bad at all um i think for two dollars it's a great deal plus it comes with the tweezers and last i forgot to use but i'll go ahead and use it right now it's the eyebrow and lash and brow gel by obviously elf and I totally, yeah, forgot to use it, but I actually really like this, and I got it a while ago, but um, both sides work the same, and yeah, it's it's a brow gel. Like, it's going to keep your brows in place. So, with all that being said, that is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. So, yeah, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace out, Blomis! On every side,